Dispose of this annoyance at once. Hey, everybody. This is Dead. And this is Vampire the Masquerade's Swan Song. This is a new game. Um, by the time this video is released, it'll be coming out tomorrow on the 19th. And yeah, uh... I don't know. I've always... I don't know really how to start this. I've always been interested in, like, the Vampire the Masquerade World of Darkness world. It's always been, like, a neat idea to me. Just never got into it for whatever reason. Um, I missed out on, like, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines entirely, and I don't really feel like going through the rigmarole of, like, downloading and installing a patch in order to get the game to run on my system. So I was actually really ex excited for uh, Bloodlines 2 when that got announced, and then that has been in development hell and is now currently being worked on by an as-of-yet unknown team. So yeah, I guess I gotta, gotta bide myself over with this. I do have to say, for purposes of disclosure, uh, Nacon, the publisher, did supply me with this early release copy of the game. So yeah, let's just jump into it. Okay, okay. So, Prince of Quarters, September 4th, 2019. The Boston Court is in turmoil. A code red alert. Okay. Has been issued, which means a major crisis has, been, has, has occurred. Imem, Leisha, and Galeb. <laughs> Those are some fucking names, I guess. Vampires walk among us. Unknowing, we've built their cities, fought their wars, and sated their hunger. For centuries, these creatures have lived in organized sect, have been organized into rival sects, the largest of which is the Camarilla. In its, domain, in its domains, Camarilla courts enforce the masquerade. A global conspiracy hiding the existence of vampires from the mortal world. Breaking the masquerade is punishable by final death. I feel like final death should have been highlighted, because that's a proper term. In Boston, vampire factions have long been at each other's throats. After much conflict, Hazel Iverson, the new prince, has sealed a fragile pact with a group of blood sorcerers known as the Hartford Chantry. This alliance will provide not only stability to the domain, but will hand the prince the blood trade. The trafficking of blood and mortal victims that serve the needs of the vampire elite. Tonight, the undead will celebrate. <laughs> I don't know why. Let's get this going. There. But just the. But just. We're all set. We had all the splash screens beforehand, and now just the like movie-style credits. Tell me, what do you see for this fucking video game? Uh, I don't know. Try this. Focus on your vision. Great advice. What do you see? I can't really see. Focus on seeing. The aristocrats, but da da da. So I will also say going into this, I have no fucking idea what kind of game this is. I just saw it coming out, saw that it seemed like a real team was working on it, like an actual studio, and it wasn't just some weird mobile thing. And it's also on Unreal, so you know. Okay, I was just gonna ask if Leisha was the girl or Leisha was the vampire. 
Or the older one, I guess. We've got a problem. Call them back. Oh, right. Yeah. I thought it was weird there was a pager in 2019, but then I remembered vampires, like, don't use the internet. I'm familiar with a bit of World of Darkness lore. What's going on? It's the prince. We must go quickly. I'm assuming this is a mem. Come on. Damn it. Hurry up. Calm down. Maybe it has nothing to do with the party. You know full well I was in charge of it. If anything goes wrong, it's my head on the chopping block. Fuck. Damn it. It took Hazel months to convince the Hartford Chantry to ally themselves with us. So they finally accept, and then bam, a code red. There's never been a code red in Boston, damn it. This has got to be bad, Amem. Okay, this is actually pulling from. Okay, this is actually pulling from the game uh, system a bit. Okay, the so dialogue skills in the dialogue. Some answers require the use of your skills. Your skill level is compared with that of your opponent. The higher rating wins. You cannot use a skill with a rating of zero. Uh, using a skill consumes willpower. If your opponent wins, you will gain. If if your opponent wins, you will gain a few willpower at the end of the dialogue. Okay, yeah. So I guess this is going to be a balance of like... It's going to be a balance of like specifically failing things in order to gain willpower back to succeed later things. But security is Jara's problem. Yeah, except Jara is a member of the Primogen. I'm not. But you're a harpy. The prince will cover you. You know she's always looking for an excuse to take him down a notch. We'll see. What do we do next? When everyone's safe, we move on to phase two. We clean house. <laughs> oh, what's Code Red? Did you say this is the first Code Red in Boston? Ever since the fall of London, protocol is no longer a laughing matter. Whatever. They've been harping on that for four years now. They took away our internet access, our smartphones. It's called risk mitigation, that's all. A code red is an alarm signal that's sent to everyone to say, watch out, we're all in danger. And everyone runs to shelter at the nearest safe house. For us, it's with the prince. It could have been worse. I'd have preferred worse. You're not even listening to me. What do you mean by we clean house? Getting rid of our archives, our documents, Anything that might betray our network and relationships. This whole thing looks so fucking weird. I I don't know how to put my finger on it, but just something about like the character models and the way they're moving. What comes after just race, all just pray that it never comes to that. It all well, looks just me. quite not right. We leave everything behind and we go into hiding as far from here as we can. There's no way I'm leaving Boston. Everything I have is right here in the city. It took me years to build my clubs. I've worked too hard to give it up now. You won't have a choice. I know you hate coming here. Are you gonna be all right? What do you think? Like, fuck, even the I hair is weird. Hate Jay. Yeah, I know. Just like, on her, the hair is it'll be fine. fine. Like, metallic green, that's a thing. You don't have to see, you don't have to see metallic brown. My little darlings, you're here at last. The fear that something horrible had happened to you terrified me. This bitch. Beatrix, April. The prince asked to see you as soon as you arrived, Amen. I wouldn't dilly dally if I were you. As for you, Journey, someone's triggered a cold red. If anything has happened over there, I'll hold you personally responsible. 
Okay, vampire powers now. Um, vampire clans have supernatural abilities, usually inherited from their clans. Discipline. Disciplines. Some disciplines can be used in dialogues. As with skills, the higher level wins. Not all disciplines are available to all vampires. Some mortals may possess certain powers, although most have no defense against dis disciplines. Disciplines consume hunger. I'm sorry, using disciplines generate hunger. Hunger has a value that cannot be exceeded. This is a limit to the vampire. This limits a vampire's use of their powers. A vampire at their hunger limit risks losing control, attacking and feeding on the closest mortal. Alrighty, cool. This is a lose lose situation. So let's just go with this. Fuck it. You know, back in the day, nobody could bat an eyelash without you knowing about it. You must know exactly what Jay is being blamed for, don't you? Emil. My dear Emil. I adore you. Really, I do. But darling, please. You're way out of your league here. This alliance with the Hartford Chantry is crucial. The prince is on edge. We can't get through to anyone over there. Mm, what does this have to do with Jay? She was in charge of the whole thing, for goodness sake. Listen, both of you. From now on, I don't want to hear another word out of either of you. The prince is furious. Journey, you're coming with me. I don't see why. And as for you, Hazel wants to see you right now. Good lord, none of these clothes can be comfortable, right? Like that woman was just wearing metal. Well, like... So born in the Harlem. Yeah, this just looks like. All right, this is my own time, but yeah. So okay, traits. Traits are positive or negative effects that influence the abilities of the character in question. Traits are only revealed once they have been earned. As the result of an action, a character's choice, or consequence. Hunger level, whether low or high, confers temporary traits. And suspicion. As as it rises, suspicion ratings creates more negative traits. Right, so that increase the difficulty faced by the characters. Oh, fuck. <laughs> A mem has encountered or others more powerful than her. For now, something to strengthen her mind for future challenges. Minus 10 to the next experience cost. The mental. Oh, that's good. I, never mind. That was good. And talents. Talents increase your abilities. Each talent is tied to specific action. Repeating these actions will progressively unlock the tiers of a talent. Threatening eloquence. Puppet master discipline. Okay, Charmer. Okay, this is... This is neat. I wasn't expecting... I don't know what I was expecting, honestly. But this is more of a... This is more of a translation of, like, the vampire system than I was thinking there would be. It's gonna be a long night. And I'm already so hungry. Miss Lewis, welcome. This is one thing I've never been able to get into with the vampire world in spite of my interest in it. The aesthetic. It's always been so much. Just like somewhere between like a fashion runway and eyes wide shut. And I just... I do not get it. I do not get the appeal. Like, I'm going to just put out there in terms of, like, my vampire aesthetic that I like. It's somewhere between, like... It's... This, this is going to probably... It's somewhere between a true blood and a near dark. Who's she, Galen? And then... Smiles like a Toreador. Letters etched in bold right upon her teeth. 
What about that bearded guy who's swallowing his bile? Dejan Siaka. A Tremere warlock, then? Keep him at a healthy distance. With a sideward glance, he could make the blood in your veins boil. Is court attendance usually this sparse? Under ordinary circumstances, there would be more of us here. Is it because of the Code Red? Could be. We should have all been at that party. But a Code Red is a Code Red. No one can leave. I'd hate to be Caius right about now. Why? He's second honcho of house security. This promises to be a busy night. I know what you mean. It's one thing to have been told that the Nosferatu don't age well. It's another thing to see it for yourself. <laughs> it's by no fault of their own. Oh. I think you'll be able to ask the prince tonight if you can embrace I him. don't think I think I don't like her almost immediately. No, no longer the time. Just insane situation happening first code red in goddamn Boston. Is your child? And then Mr. Beryl motherfucker's just like Oh, that ugly bitch. <laughs> I know that's the whole Nosferatu thing, but like, come on, dude. Mm. Tread lightly. He's a member of the Primogen. They're the check to the prince's power. The check and balance. They backed Hazel when she rose to power after Quentin King. They'd hoped to control her. What? Things didn't go as planned? I just have a feeling she will surprise them. Never forget that the court is a chessboard. We are monsters, and we sacrifice pawns. If you want to be a major piece, then behave accordingly. But and keep in mind, all of us are terrible at chess. We're in the prince's house. She must be finished by now. Wait for me. This won't take long. It's out of the question, M.M. I won't let her get away with this. All right. Calm down, Dijon. Where's Journey? What's it to you? Don't start with me. She was in charge of the party. She has to take responsibility for this. So has this fight been happening the entire time that they were talking there, or is this just a different fight? For her. She's not a kid anymore. I haven't heard from my child, and no one's able to get through to them over there. Go on then. Go and save Imani and stop wasting your breath. There are rules. Need I remind you? We're all stuck here. You're such a good boy. You'll never change. Dijon! What? Oh, come on, Hilda, she needs to grow up! Leave us. I just gotta move my model to position. I don't need your help. Mem, please, stop calling me that. I was worried about you. You still haven't moved on, have you? You're always getting in my way. Lower your voice. People are staring. Okay, focus allows you to temporarily increase a skill by one or two levels. Nice. The more you increase your focus, the more willpower, or the willpower cost increased, increases. To be focused, a skill must have a minimum number, minimum score of one point. Disciplines and knowledges cannot be focused. Uh, if the skill or discipline levels are the same, the outcome of the conflict is uncertain. Ugh. The chance of victory can be influenced by a number of bonuses and penalties, as well as by spending experience points. Okay, so I can't focus on intimidation. Uh, or can I? No, I cannot. Let's see. Let's just hundred percent this. Fuck. Son of a bitch. 
Your opponents can also focus their own skills. Okay, fuck you. Unlike you, focus only allows them to increase their skill level by one. The risk of opponent focus is represented by a percentage. The more aggressive you are, skill focus uses disciplines, the more risk of opponent focus increases. Do you know what this code red is all about? You're in the prime engine. You must know something. I'm in the same boat as the rest of you. Apparently, it was from one of Moore's retainers. That's all I know. Who's that? Jason Moore. Don't you remember him? He's the human who manages our interests when the sun comes up. He handles our assets, errands with the banks. What does he have to do with this? I don't know. It now seems that Miss Hazel Iverson, the mighty Prince of Boston, is no longer on speaking terms with the Primogen. As if now were the ideal time. She asked to see me. Do you know why? My best guess is that she'd like to talk to you about Journey. Of course. I always warned you that girl was trouble. Yeah. Did she just sure. wink? I've gotta go. Hazel must be upstairs. Oh. I'd better hurry. Okay, she, she was actually walking. I haven't seen her. Counselor Drory is not here. No. What a shitty night. Hazel must be pissed. It's a bit weird that like the thing called the prince is on like a first name basis with almost everyone. Oh. What fresh fuckery is this? to be the introduction of our third character. Or not the introduction, but like the continuation of our third character who is technically our first character, I guess. Ah, here we go. Nothing, Pumpkin. What were you saying? You saw pictures again? You're not going back to the Institute, are you? No, don't fret. I'm gonna stay here with you now. I don't like it when Richard takes you away. He's my psychiatrist. He's helping me so I can be with you. Mom has a little trouble sometimes, remember? I see things that haven't happened yet. And I forget others. Yes, I know. And you have to slumber so you can rest all alone sometimes. Oh, good lord. Three years was too long. It took a second for that voice to kick in, but like, fuck. <laughs> it seemed like an eternity without you. I missed you too, Mom. I need oh, God. Monster. What Mom? fucking 30 year old is voicing this child? Why does everybody look so upset? I think something serious is happening. I'm worried. And who decided on a fucking lisp? I've seen Richard. Uh, I looked for him so he could explain, but he can't be found. So what do we do now? Uh, I was told to wait here because Hazel wants to see us. There are grown-ups coming, and your mother needs to talk to them. Oh, then I'll go hide because grown-ups talk to me too much. <laughs> if you want, sweetie, but don't wander off. Go on. Show me what you do to make sure no one spots you. Okay, here I go. Oh, okay, she's a full-on vampire. I assumed it might be like a... She's like a kid and then eventually she'll get embraced. When did you get out? Just tonight. Hazel wanted to see me. That means she's extremely worried about the situation. That or she's a major drama queen. 
I doesn't realize how serious it is. You shouldn't make light of the situation, believe me. There aren't many of us who have experienced a code red and survived. Thanks for the heads up, Professor Bazori. First Siaka, now you. Why won't anybody give me a break tonight? Maybe you asked for it. Or maybe if you behaved in a manner more appropriate to the circumstances and our setting, then you'd better understand why everyone is so nervous. Wait, who am I? Who am I? Am I am I picking for her? Because it has still has Galeb's line down at the bottom, and I had more hunger than this a second ago. Eh, let's make her indignant. Stop it right there, Bazori. Don't take that tone with me. I choose what lessons to take. We must all remain calm and accept any help we can get, even from the most unusual sources. That's surprising to hear coming from a blue blood. At least your certainties come from a more solid source than a prophecy from a child of Malkov. You don't know what you're talking about. All I'm saying is that whatever the problem is, your hallucinations aren't gonna help us solve it. Yeah. And yet many of the things I saw ended up happening. Quentin King's disappearance, Hazel's rise to power, your breakup with Hilda too. But you're probably right. It's just Hazel and her flair for the dramatic. Only time will tell. Good evening, ladies, sir. The prince shall see you now. Rebellious star of the David Lights at Boston Nights, but bringing a light into a world of darkness can be perilous. MM knows this, but she doesn't care. Profile. Okay. So profile that focuses on knowledge and skills that allow you to go undercover, extort, or steal information. Profile that focuses on improving all attributes, improving attributes and a large selection of skills. It allows for a minimum number of interactions. It allows for the maximum number of interactions, but with less mastery. And focuses on dialogue skills and physical attribute. Yeah, let's give her let's give her veteran. Uh, at the start of a scene, previously earned experience points can be spent to improve character's abilities. These abilities are divided into two areas: the character sheet and the discipline sheet. The attributes each attribute is a specific yeah, each, attrib each attribute affects a specific list of skills and disciplines attributes increase the chance of victory in the case of a tie improving them also decreases willpower also, also decreases the willpower cost of focus knowledge uh, the knowledge skills do not have a willpower cost they cannot be improved by focus The, dis the discipline sheet contains the disciplines the character possesses. We get aspects, presence, and celerity. Experience points invested in a discipline increase the level and can provide additional powers. Discipline, pla discipline powers can be passive and may be used in dialogue or in exploration. Okay, so I can't increase any of these. So I only have discipline. So I can only increase disciplines. Give access to presence the dialogue option. This plan allows you to traverse the environment at um, at high speeds. It allows you to slow down your perception of time. Link activates celerity vision, has no hunger cost. Reveals anchor points in the environment that a mem can reach using blink. Allows you to teleport basically. And fleetness, okay. Okay, so I increased. I... Oh, 
Okay, cool. How do I... Can I upgrade anything? Cool, I can't. Or I... Okay, can, okay, can I or can't I? Okay, I can up my... Yeah. Okay, I'll up my mental. Fuck it. Or, no. Okay, the only thing I can upgrade is my mental. you're here. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Tell me, where were you tonight? Like everybody else, I suppose. At home, getting ready for the party. How fortunate you weren't running early. Why? What's happened? You know what the code red means. There was a breach. This is intolerable. These agreements were supposed to celebrate the power of my court. Instead, I've been made to look a fool in the eyes of my allies. We'll have to increase our diplomatic efforts with the warlocks. Send new emissaries to Osborne. What's that got to do with me? Don't you worry about that for now. We have more urgent matters to attend to. We bring Journey to me. Uh, yeah. What do you want with her? I have a few questions I need to ask her. If mistakes were made, I need to know what happened. I'm sure that your friend will have a lot to tell me. She hasn't done anything. Hazel, I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, no other yes, option, I guess. My prince. I'll be right back. I didn't bring you here just for that. I have something to offer you. Uh oh. Asking. It's about the Primogen Council. You know everyone who's in it. Beryl, Richard, Hilda. Their support was much appreciated after the disappearance of the previous prince. Quentin King. But now, they've become an obstacle. It's been going on for months. They systematically oppose everything that I do. It must stop now. Uh, yep, can't increase that, so keep silent. Camarilla has faced many challenges in the past few years. Many of our strongholds have fallen. I won't let Boston suffer the same fate, but for that, I need loyal allies. Also, how would you like a spot in the Primogen? I. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, You've always great. Always taken care of your community, MM. Without ever asking for anything, this will turn. only end it well. It might be time you took a leading role in the community's affairs. Hilda won't let you do it. She'll never see me as her equal. Being seated next to her child, she'll feel humiliated. I'm her prince. She will obey me. She's not gonna like it. Based on what we've been saying so far, care. she's been doing a great job of obeying you. I guess. Much bigger than all that. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I'm, I said to make her indignant. You know what I think of the court. I'm not comfortable there. You'll get used to it quickly. I'm not sure I want to. It's not a question. Time is of the essence. You're a businesswoman, M.M. I know you'll be up to it, but we'll talk about it again soon. In the meantime... I know. Jay, I'm going to go see Sylvia first. I need to clear my head. Do it. You won't be able to hunt tonight. It's better to be prepared. Bring me Journey. I will. 
I have the utmost confidence in you, MM. Do not fail. What the f you can count on me. What the hell is going on? I don't know, dude. Did they like change mics for that line? Might just be me, but that sounded real fucking weird. Oh Lord. MM, I'm happy to see you in one piece. Hey, Syl. I'd like some refreshment, please. Of course, I'll get you a glass. I was thinking more like a vessel. Oh, serve yourself, but try not to damage them, okay? They're all I've got left. Okay, she is a vampire. I thought she might have been a person, just like a human who was about to like fucking just like slit her wrist open and then just. A safe zone is a place where no one can see you feed. You can find them by exploring your surroundings. Only one prey may be sent to a safe zone at a time. No news from anyone. Do you think they're... Now's not the time to be thinking about that. We're not the only ones freaking out. Look around. Exactly. We've got to keep our wits up. Okay. Prey will naturally be revealed as you approach them to feed. You'll need to find a safe zone you can lure your prey to. Going, go after isolated prey. If your prey, if it is surrounded by a potential witness, uh, sending the prey to a safe zone will increase suspicion of you. About us, got it. Yeah. Might as well unlock the second safe zone. Oh. Good evening. take long okay sure come into my delicate gold plated fingers I thought she would go for neck Vampires use their power to charm or subdue their prey and satisfy their hunger. When feeding on a vampire, you control the amount of blood you take. Press and hold the button to increase the amount of hunger eliminated. If you do not press the button, or if you do not release before the bar is full, the prey will die, drained of its blood. Killing prey will increase suspicion. Mortals will be on their guard, while vampires will question your respect for the masquerade. Ah, shit. I meant to hold for longer. Some prey, their blood emotionally charged, have a resonance that your character will earn after feeding. At the end of a scene, a resonance provides an experience bonus to the corresponding discipline. If you have, if you, if more than one resonance is acquired during a given scene, only the last one acquired is saved. If you pray survives, you may not feed on them a second time. However, this will cause it to die and increase suspicion. Okay, I need more. All right, Jay. Where are you hiding? Uh, first, uh, hey girl, what up? Let's see if I can do better a second time. Okay, she feel she sounds like she enjoyed that more than the guy from earlier. Okay, dokes. Where am I going now? Mind your own business, Sil. Now's not the time. Find a journey. Can I leave or are you gonna block me? 
Miss Lewis. Can I help you? Miss Lewis. Okay, you're gonna block me. Great. That's a wall. Thing. Great. We can't wait around like this forever. What a shitty night. Do you think the code red will last much longer? I hope not. The faster I get out of here, the better. What? And Mem Lewis, the black rattler's rose, is afraid of a handful of politicians? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Fine. Let me know if I can do anything for you. I'm looking for Journey. I'm supposed to find Jay. Do you know if she's done talking to April? Huh. Good question. Uh, I saw her earlier, but she wasn't with Miss Bosley. She went into that alcove on your right, but that was a while ago. Thanks. Oh, she's you, a fucking corpse. You might want to avoid hanging around with her, you know? I've heard stuff about her. I know, and it's not true. She didn't do anything, all right? Fine. Sorry. Did you need anything else? Oh, yeah, let's learn some more. Might as well. Miss Iverson has the top floor all to herself. Yes, that's where she's got her office for hearings, as well as her personal quarters. Miss Bosley is the only one who has access to them. I heard the prince put together a surveillance unit. Yeah, the cave. Mr. Leto and his team spend their nights there. It's just below us. But don't even think about going down there. It's only for sewer rats. Thanks for the vessel. Okay, so no... Come back any time you want. So no codex entry on what the fuck a goddamn sewer rat is? Okay, not that alcove. Not that one, I guess. So I guess this one. I know that perfume. Jay. Heightened senses. Auspex height enhances your five sentences. This condition reveals new interactions, detecting sense, listening to conversations from a distance, revealing the past of objects, or even experiencing premonitions. You can also discover items that have been hidden using your supernatural powers. Where did you go, Jay? Is there like a sprint button? I guess using Auspex increased hunger. Underwood and Fang. Lazor's ears must be burning. Keltum and Lazarus. Mm, I oh, no, yeah, it was tracking. Yeah, might as well. This can't be happening. I swear, she was standing there, playing me for a sucker, pretending she just happened to be in the archives. And what did you say to her? I played dumb. I said, as you like, Miss Abigail Downey. And I left. What did she take? A page from a file about an old party that she tore out. Uh, but why would she need that? They can't. Why, why now? I <laughs> Ah, uh, great. Yeah, I can do this. Jay was looking for a file that Jara took from the archives. Interesting. From Jara to me, mean subject maintaining order. I ask your retainers to arrive before sunset for more discretion. Or need confirmation, I'm still waiting on that paper. And then that was Yeah, okay. Her last message to Abigail. I need you to track down the file in the nineteen ninety eight Solstice Party, page three should be of interest to you. The file. I wonder where they put it. That could be of interest to me. I hope you didn't forget anything, Jay. 
Okay, just a checklist for the party. Club business cards. That'll probably be useful. Guest list from the Boston Court, from the Hartford Chantry. Accompanying guest. Vessels for consumption. Ask Dr. Dunham for a list of vessels from the Red Salon. And then the staff. Okay, let's continue tracking her scent. It's from April's office. So wait, did she go back to April's office? Because she got taken by April, then went to the then went to the fucking to get a drink and then came back. Elevator to get here. Oh, okay, I was backtracking her. Okay. So long the tracks in the wrong direction. I'm an idiot. And he used all that hunger for nothing. Okay, so she went to the archives first. Dear all, don't forget that if you have any issues with the archives, please contact Lazarus. Not me. Thank you, April. <laughs> ah, bureaucracy. Caius will hear okay, fuck. Okay, I was just pushing buttons trying to find the fucking sprint. Trail ends there. Where could she have gone after that? Well, I mean, there's a fucking... This is a curtain. You can open it. Let me goddamn open the curtain. Well, that's a fun thing. Sprint is a toggle. Yes. How can I not get through here? I can see. God damn it. Is there seriously no fucking... Come on, Imani. Now's not the time for this. Oh, wait a minute. Did I... You don't have a card to get to the archives. I hope he's all right. Is it Kala Saw? Jay always got along well with her sire. Lucky bitch. <laughs> okay, yeah, I. I guess let's try April. Again. Yes, me again, what bitch. Do you want? April, have you seen Jay anywhere? You can't let her out of your sight for two seconds. The prince sent me to get her. I can't discuss that with you. The fuck you mean you can't discuss that with me, bitch? <laughs> Not that I think in a million years this is what happened, but... What if Jay messed up somehow? What would happen to her? Depends on the mistake. And how bad the consequences were. At best, the prince will be mad. At worst? Destruction? Yeah. There's a good chance of that. 
You can tell me. My lips are sealed. The only way I can make sure you don't talk is to keep my own lips sealed. What the fuck are you talking about? I... The prince sent me here. Fine. I won't insist. If you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Yeah, sure. Oh, you I fucking know. suck. It's a good thing I was careful earlier. There, came to office, did thing. I cannot do anything else in the office. So I guess let's talk to Zhu Fang. Hey Fang. Good evening, Miss Lewis. Call me a man, please. Did you come with Caleb? Yes, but he's so very busy. You didn't happen to see Journey, did you? I'm sorry. I don't know everyone's names yet. Cool. Green hair. It's a shame to see the court in such a state. What the fuck? Okay, let's just talk to everybody I, along the path. I'm sorry about before. I'm just a little edgy tonight. I know. This isn't the first time we've gotten in a fight over nothing. Your child, Imani. She was there. Still no news? No. Radio silence. And Hazel refuses to talk to me. I spent months kowtowing to those Hartford assholes for this agreement. If she has the info, now's not the time to hold it back. These Hartford guys. How well do you know them? Well enough. I won't let things end like that. I'm looking for Journey. Have you seen her? No, I'm sorry. I assume you've already tried her office? You told me you knew the Hartford Warlocks well. Yeah, some of them. I was in touch with their representative, Deneb. He was supposed to replace me on the council. You're leaving us? Uh, not really. It's part of the agreement with the Chantry. Deneb and I were supposed to switch places. Why was Hazel doing business with them? She had plans for the blood market in the region. We were meant to be in charge of supplying high quality blood. They were supposed to take care of stabilizing it, or try at least. Right, That's they're nuts. blood Anyone magic. Ever tried it before? Never. I completely forgot about That's why, why like these humans would need blood. I don't blood. give a shit about Hartford, but this project is really important. I understand. Well, I'll leave you to it. I've got to find Jay. If I see Journey, I'll tell her you're looking for her. Yep. And then she fucking went in here, fed on that person, and then... I... Shit. In that dress? And then she went in here, but I'm not allowed to go in here for some fucking reason. April's gonna kill us. Amen. We haven't seen you here in ages. Did you want something, perhaps? You haven't seen Journey, have you? She's not here. It would be a shame if you've showed up too late. Uh, fuck it, I'll fail on lead the focus. If you know something, just tell me. I'm teasing you. I haven't the slightest idea what has you in such sorts. It was just a joke. Very funny. I don't have time for this. I'm out of here. All right, cool. So I have no willpower. The trail leads to this fucking wall that I can clearly see through. And I'm getting frustrated, so I think I'm gonna call it here. This was Swan Song. I 
It's weird. A disaster. It's a disaster. And I am not sure how I feel about it yet. But I'll spend some more time with it. Uh, probably mention, probably talk about it on the podcast a bit. Um, you can find that wherever podcasts are available. But until then, I'm dead. We'll see you guys next time. Excuse me while I whip this out. Oh, my God.